Hey everybody! Today we're trying the next recipe in the Downton Abbey official cookbook and it's truffled eggs. And I had a lot of problems with procuring ingredients for this and also I was supposed to use a double boiler so I kind of made up one with a Pyrex bowl and my saucepan which is fine. But I did find truffles but they were in a can so it was I'm not able to slice it so we're kind of having to make do with what we got and also I couldn't find Madeira wine anywhere nearby but the man at the local liquor store which is also a wine store told me that a good substitute for Madeira is sherry so I'm going to use sherry and I'm going to use canned truffles so it's not going to be like the book at all but we're going to try it anyways because it's what's next Let's make some truffled eggs. Okay, here's my setup. I'm currently waiting on the tablespoon of butter to melt. In the meantime, we're going to rough up some eggs in this bowl. Just to rough them up with a spoon a little bit. It doesn't have to be completely scrambled because we do that. As you're cooking. Okay, let me season the eggs with some salt and pepper. Obviously, this is to taste. Okay, now it says the leave to pour this in here and leave for about one minute because it's just gonna cook up the bottom and we're gonna slowly scoop up the layers and scramble them together. And this is different. Usually you would use a pan and just scramble them on a pan but the double boiler I think is gonna give it a softer cook and so that's why Downton Abbey decided to use that. And obviously I'm going to fast forward through these parts because watching eggs cook is not so fun. The recipe says after four minutes add your tablespoon of Madeira, or in this case we're using sherry as I said before. Gives a nice scent. Each minute we need to keep cooking it until it's cooked but still soft and creamy. The book says it takes about 8 to 10 minutes to achieve this. Okay, we are looking good now. Cooked, soft and creamy. I think it looks just right. So we're going to put them in a bowl. add the chopped black truffle like half of it and I have no idea how big that truffle would be I'm just gonna do a little tiny bit of chopped black truffles mainly because I've never had it and I'm not sure how I'm gonna feel about it so I'm mixing that in okay. and I also said to add another tablespoon of butter Waiting over here, which is a lot of butter in these eggs, but there's already a ton of. There's the sherry and the truffles. There's definitely different eggs that I've ever had before. All right, 
And this has to add um, a garnish of additional sliced truffles on top. I don't have that, obviously, because I didn't get the mushroom. So we're going to um, use what we can. I am ready to try these. Okay, here's my truffled eggs. That is a very different flavor of eggs. They taste a little mushroomy with the black truffles, but not too much mushroomy. Honestly, the sharing comes out more than the mushrooms, or the truffles. It's pretty good. I don't think I added enough salt, but it is good. I'm not sure I would make it again, mainly because this little can <laughs> of black truffles was $10 for the whole thing and I used this much of it. Well I appreciate you all coming in today and trying truffled eggs with me. I really hope you subscribe because I have more recipes and more fun coming up and I hope you all have a great day. Bye!